Well, hello and welcome to 2021. And hey, I guess a new year means a new streaming service because that's exactly what we're talking about today. Yes, as we mentioned a while back, Discovery has indeed launched its own streaming service. It's a venture the company is calling Discovery Plus, and it's currently available here in the US on a variety of platforms, which we'll get into shortly. And a global launch is in the cards for the future as well. So what's this new streaming service all about and what can you watch on it? Well, that's what we're here for. If you've been curious about the new service, we hope this helps. These are five things you should know about Discovery Plus. Number one, what exactly is Discovery Plus? Well, yeah, that's a great place to start, so let's dive into it, shall we? Discovery Plus is a new streaming service that focuses on content from Discovery's collection of brands and networks, and we'll get into a bit more detail about specific content in the next section, but here's a quick summary. Discovery Plus is offering a mix of popular shows and new original content under the Discovery umbrella of network, including TLC, Animal Planet, Food Network, and more. In all, the company is boasting about having some 2,500 plus current, classic, and brand new shows to choose from. And it'll also feature well-known Discovery personalities like the Property Brothers, Bobby Flay, and Giada De Laurentiis, and more. In addition to the on-demand streaming aspect that's currently up and running, Discovery is also planning to launch what it's calling Discovery Plus Channels. Those will be 24-7 continuous streams based on hit shows like 90 Day Fiancé and Chopped. And while we haven't had a chance to check those channels out ourselves, what Discovery is describing here sounds a bit like how Pluto TV dedicates specific channels to specific shows, like Beverly Hills 90210 or Star Trek. In any case, Discovery Plus Channels is expected to launch later this month by January 29th. Number two, what can I watch? So if you've caught any of the recent Discovery Plus advertising and marketing materials out there, you've likely come across two key and very large numbers. 55,000 plus and 2,500 plus. And those two figures refer to the more than 55,000 episodes from 2,500 plus shows that are available on the new streaming service. And no, I'm not about to list them all one by one, but they do include classic shows, current hits, and brand new offerings from that collection of networks we mentioned earlier. And again, we're talking about channels like Food Network, HGTV, A&E, Lifetime, and others. And I think it's fair to say a healthy portion of those new original shows borrow from what's worked for Discovery in the past. So you'll have access to spin-off shows like 90 Day Bears All and 90 Day Diaries, which branch off of the successful 90 Day Fiancé show to offer even more content for fans. And if you enjoy Food Network's selection of competition shows, you'll have more to choose from here as well, including Cake Alikes with Duff Goldman. And our own Tamara put together a list of original shows coming to the service back in December, and we'll have a link to that post down below in the video description if you want to learn more about what's on offer. But essentially, if a significant portion of your current viewing occurs on Discovery's flagship networks, odds are good you might find something interesting on its new streaming service as well. Number three, how much is Discovery Plus? Well, this one's pretty straightforward. At launch, there are two plans to choose from, and as you might suspect, the main difference here is the presence of ads. So the cheaper option includes ads and runs for $4.99 per month. Meanwhile, the ad-free version goes by the appropriate name of Discovery Plus ad-free and costs $6.99 per month. And in case you're wondering, yes, the cheaper ad-supported option does grant you access to the same library of shows as the ad-free version. Elsewhere, we've seen instances of certain tiers getting a more limited library, like Peacock's free tier, only offering a portion of what's available on the service's paid plans, but on Discovery Plus, both paid options offer the same library. Now, beyond those two monthly rates, so there's currently no annual pricing on offer here. Now, that may come in the future, but at the moment, at least, Discovery isn't offering annual pricing for a discount like you can get on, say, Disney+. Plus. And with either plan, you can try out the service with a 7-day free trial. Now, we've seen free trial offers start to fade away a bit on older and more established services, most recently on HBO Max just before the premiere of Wonder Woman 1984 last month, but a trial period still makes a ton of sense for a brand new service. So if you're on the fence about whether Discovery Plus has what you're looking for, you have a week's worth of binge-watching to find out. And aside from those pricing tiers, this is a good place to point out that Discovery has scored a deal with Verizon to offer the new streaming service if you have a qualifying plan. And those plans include certain unlimited plans, as well as Verizon's Fios home internet or 5G home services. If you do have an eligible plan, you can get 12 months of ad-free Discovery Plus for free, and then you'll be billed the usual $6.99 per month after that year is up. And if all that interests you, just head over to Verizon's site to see all the fine print on which plans qualify for the deal. 
Number four, what about device support? Well, as far as device support goes, Discovery Plus is launching with a pretty solid base right from the get-go. You'll have access to the new streaming service on Android and iOS mobile devices, Apple TV, Fire TV, Roku, and more. You can also fire up the Discovery Plus app on Samsung Smart TVs from 2017 onward, and current and previous generation Xbox consoles, including the new Xbox Series S and Series X, as well as the earlier generation Xbox One line. And as you can see from the list on your screen right now, device support is pretty robust for a brand new service. Of course, it's not quite universal. There are still some holes in the lineup that we hope are addressed at some point. In particular, there's currently no LG Smart TV support, nor is there currently an app for Sony's PlayStation 4 or newer PS5 console. Also, for what it's worth, while several major web browsers are listed as being supported, Microsoft's Edge browser currently isn't among them. That being said, we tried out the service on Windows 10 using Edge, and it worked just fine. And of course, we certainly can't speak for every use case out there, so if there are other platforms you'd like to see Discovery Plus cover in the future, feel free to let us know in the comment section down below. Number five, what's it like to use Discovery Plus? Well, why don't we find out? First off, on screen right now is the Discovery Plus app running on an iPad Pro. And the first thing you might notice is that it's a pretty familiar user interface, which makes sense since you want it to be inviting and user friendly. At startup, you'll see a big portion of the screen is dedicated to featured content. In this case, it's a perfect planet from the BBC. Below that, you'll see circular icons for the various discovery brands like HGTV, TLC, Animal Planet, and others. Scroll down a bit more and you'll see content organized into themed rows for things like featured shows, trending shows, and more. You'll also see selections from specific networks here as well. Up at the top of the app, you'll see sections for specific categories like relationships, true crime, food, and the paranormal and unexplained. If you select those sections, you'll see menus that are laid out similar to the home screen, but more focused on the section you chose. One neat touch is that each tile in these menus includes a small icon to indicate the network behind the displayed show, so you'll see a TLC logo next to the tile for the show Unexpected or Sister Wives. And for original shows on the streaming service, you'll see a little Discovery Plus Originals logo next to those tiles as well. As for overall selection, you do indeed get a large number of shows and seasons, but it doesn't appear to be quite all-encompassing. For example, we notice that How the Universe Works doesn't offer Season 1, but Seasons 2 through 8 are available. You can also add favorites to a list called, yes, My List, which you can view via its own dedicated section in the app. There's also support for multiple profiles within the app. You can head to the Accounts section of the app to manage existing profiles or create a new one. Just head to the Add Profile option and select a name and profile picture. At the moment though, there doesn't appear to be an option for child accounts or parental controls. In fact, searching for parental controls in the in-app help section currently yields no results. Of course, it's still very early times for the app, but just a heads up for parents out there. And there you go, those are five things you should know about Discovery Plus here at its initial launch in January of 2021. And of course, we'll continue to follow the new streaming service as it grows and matures, including the addition of those 24-7 dedicated channels scheduled to roll out later this month. As always, you can follow along on our news website, cordcuttersnews.com. And of course, please do consider clicking the like and subscribe buttons down below while you're here as well. We've got a lot of big plans for our YouTube channel here in 2021, and we'd love it if you joined us. For now, though, if you're considering Discovery Plus, or if you've already given the new service a test drive this week, feel free to leave your initial thoughts in the comment section down below. What have you been pleasantly surprised about? What do you think is still missing? Are there classic shows you hope they bring to the service in the future? Let us know. And as always, my name is Philip Palermo. Thanks again for watching. Take care.